good evening and welcome to the first VOD mute of the stream. Uh, hey, I'm here. It is, uh, 12.43, Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning, and this came out a couple hours earlier than I thought. Uh, this is Theater Rhythm, Final Bar Line, uh, the demo version. Full version of this game is coming out, uh, later this month, which, by the way, it is now February where I live, so later February. Uh, I did get the full version, and I, I did get, like, the, the deluxe version, and I will be probably streaming that. Even though I know any uploads of this game onto YouTube are going to get, like, slammed by Square Enix for their, you know, great uh, copyright stuff. Again, th they don't block videos for the music, they just put the claim on it. We don't have to watch that again, that was two minutes long. Hey, Celine. Ahoy to you, too. Um, this version, the full version of the game, I looked it up. I did look it up before starting the, uh, before downloading this. Again, this was originally going to be uh, what I was going to do tomorrow, but since it's out now, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, the demo has uh, has up to thirty has thirty songs and up to thirty characters to have the part. Well, okay, so I have no idea how many characters there are, but thirty songs is a lot. The full version of the game with all DLC that's going to be released. It's not all going to come out at once, but the DLC that is coming out that's confirmed. Uh, which is included in the Ultimate Edition. It's gonna br it's gonna bring the total of songs up to 502. So, what you're gonna see in this demo is is not even a tenth of what the game is gonna have. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get through this demo. Um, I originally tonight was gonna be a longer stream. I might just do this and stop, but we'll see how long this takes to get through, and we'll see what happens. Data from this does carry over to the full version, so that's why I'm streaming it. So this is essentially just part one of Final Bar Line. And I will be doing more of it in the future as well. Carry over all your progress from the demo to the full game, including play counts, high scores, unlocked characters, and their stats, series quest progress, and obtained items. Characters can reach up to level 30, and you can earn up to 2,000 Rhythmia. Collected cards do not appear in treasure chests. So collected cards are kind of like a, a trading card system uh, that they had in the other game. So this series has had four games. Ah, okay, so you can't do... Uh, oh, clear stage and series quest unlock. They'll have to purchase the full game. Alright, I do have it pre-ordered, but it's not purchased, technically. I, uh... I, I played the first Theater Rhythm game and got some of the DLC for it. It's, it's, it was really fun. It was kind of like, like, Elite Beat Agents Light. The way I would put it, it, it requires a lot less, like, wacky inputs or, or twitchy inputs and more just good timing. Um... It's not my favorite rhythm game, but I do like it, and the fact that there's one on the Switch now with a ton of music in it is, is something that I'm not going to turn down. Uh, Multi-battle Moogle language. Yeah, theater rhythm. Final okay. Bar line. okay, sure. Keep that on. Yeah, that's, that's good. Trigger speed. Alright, we can... Um, change visibility to some BMS characters and enemies. Mask level. Okay, so show this is how, how much it's going to dampen the, the image in the background. It, it, why would you turn off the, the thing? That's silly. The whole point is, like, the, the thing's lane covers. Oh, no. Oh, so that's just difficulty. BGM timing TV mode. I will have to, uh, I will have to go with this as we go along. Single control, pair play, timing display... I won't do that. Special damage, anime. Yeah, we'll keep all the animations on. Change the sound, please, when you hit a trigger. So these are the 3DS sounds, original. These are new. Wonder how many songs will be a different version of the same song? Not a lot. They don't usually go for they don't usually go for multiples of the same song. They they pick the unique songs from each game. I I think the sound effects are fine. Trigger colors, type A or type B. Well, A is what I'm used to, so we're gonna go with A. Camera movement, critical hit. We'll keep all the f funky stuff on. L live info display. Show I score. So this is this is the streamer mode. Um, if I turn this on, it's gonna show like a streamer overlay. Uh, I'll keep it off for now, but I'll turn it on in a bit. Oh, streaming rules. We had screenings on. Uncle Cheering's allowed certain guideline guidelines. Okay, for latest in the guidelines, visit our website. Ugh. What are you, my father? No. Because you're present in my life. Oh, look at that. It's not found. Never mind. You're just like my father. 
Okay, ton of tutorials that we're not going to see right now. Uh, blah, 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 legal jargon, L logo use. I love how that they, they have to be like, oh, here, here's the logos. Why? Why? What the fuck is Mobius Final Fantasy? Yeah, Mobius! Classic games, you play the song. All songs, wait, uh, what did it say? I didn't read that. Shit. In Serious Quest, you can unlock songs and characters as you venture through the Final Fantasy series. Travel through past titles and earn Rhythmia along the way. The Rhythmia you collect will resound with the crystal and make it shine even brighter. I think I hit the maximum amount of Rhythmia in the 3DS title. Like, I actually couldn't hold more. Because you don't spend it, you just accumulate it. You get one title key to start, use it to unlock a title and play through. You can choose from six titles at the start. This part isn't available in the demo. Play, enjoy the rest of the game in the full version. So what do we got? Two, five, I think it's six games total. It's two, five, seven, fourteen. Thirteen, yeah, fourteen online, fifteen. So we got Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, Final Fantasy right, me, Series, Mobius, Record Keeper. So we have, like, we have, we have spinoffs. The DLC is going to be adding, I think, like, like, like ten more entries to this. There's gonna be Saga, Mana, Nier, Chrono, um, and I think one more, I can't remember. Plus, there's gonna be two mystery packs that'll be revealed towards the end of the, uh, DLC. They're, like, the very last ones to be released, so I'm not sure what to expect from that. Music for Mobius Final Fantasy was composed by Mitsuo Suzuki, whose previous work includes The Third Birthday, Ugh. Final Fantasy 13 2, and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. Okay. Not the original 13, though. The third birthday. Oof. Oof. Um, who, uh, okay, well, that's, that's cool, but what the hell is Mobius Final Fantasy? I don't know what that is. Alright, we'll unlock Final Fantasy 2. So that's neat. You don't have to do them in order, like you, like you could in the, uh, like you did in the original. Nope, and Nebius was a, Mobius was a mobile game from 2016 to 2017. Wow. Therian, Maria, Guy, Leon, Minwu. Now that you have some par characters to choose from, try editing your party. Press plus to start. From here you can assign unlocked characters to your party. So in the original Theater Rhythm, you only got, I think, two characters per game. You had, like, a starting one and an unlockable one. Sometimes they were just villains. Like, like for seven you would get uh, Cloud and then you get Sephiroth. Choose an empty slot and the character you want to assign to it. Try putting a healing character in your party to be safe. So you have HP in this game. Google style, original. You get airships and summon stones, okay. Alright, well, I'm not too familiar with two. I'm not too familiar with it. I know Minwoo was my uh, favorite character. Uh, and Leon's the badass that everyone loves. Let's do Maria. Go from fluent proficient in magic attacks and inflicting status ailments. Court White Mage, special in support through healing and damage reduction. Rebel War can restore HP as he attacks. And then we got Young Man with Impeccable Defense and attack that gets stronger the higher his HP. Boogle Boogle. Dark Knight who could sacrifice his magic to raise his strength and deal devastating blows. Oh, it actually tells you their stats at the bottom. So yeah, they have stats. This does affect how you fight enemies in the game. And they each have their own individual level. Minwoo sacrifices his life so the protagonist resistance can acquire Ultima. Yep, and then he does it again in Dawn of Souls or whatever it is. He does it in the afterlife, but it doesn't kill him again. So, <laughs> he's better. He literally Vegeta's himself. I know, um... Final, I, I know Final Fantasy II's general uh, story... I actually, um, I started it, I just never play it, finished it. That game's weird, there's no levels in Final Fantasy 2. The way Final Fantasy 2 works is that, um, is that the way you fight determines how your stats raise. In fact, if you want to raise HP in that game, you beat each other up and then just win easy battles with your health low, and your HP will just go up after every battle. It's, it's ridiculous. 
Do I want to ask for context for, for the characters or for the game, for the, the sacrifice? He's he, Final Fantasy II has a lot of temporary party members. He's one of the later characters introduced in Dissidia Opera, Opera, Opera Omnia. He was also called Mindu in the original translation. But Du and Wu, I think, have like a similar sound. The way it's pronounced in Japanese, so I guess Minwu was the more uh, proper translation. Now you're ready to start your adventure. Let's try playing a music stage. MS. The tutorial will start as soon as you close the window. So the original game had three songs for every game, or three songs for every title. A battle stage, um, a field stage, and an, an, an FMV stage, which the earlier games would just be like collections of scenes from the game. And then Arden have an interesting relationship and... and Oh, oh, really? Heard the gameplay between 1 and 2, was it 3 is different? Yeah. Well, 2's gameplay, like I said, there's no levels. It's just stat-ups only. It's very interesting, and they never, they never did it again. In a BMS, triggers approach from the left. Press any attack button as they line up with the trigger marks. There's several types of triggers. Let's see them in action. Better hope my controller's, like, calibrated for this. Let's start with playing a simple beat. Press A, be careful of timing. All right. All right. You can press any of the glowing buttons. Oh, okay. So any button works for it. Okay, timing's pretty tight. That's good. Tilt the stick in the direction of the arrow, being careful of timing. You can either use the left or right stick. Oh, okay. So it has to be the stick. Press an old A and then be care really just be careful of the timing. It's a simpler version of, of a Wendon and Elite Beat Agents if you played those slide triggers. Okay, you gotta hold... Oops. Alright, so you hold the button down and you press the direction at the very end. Both Leon and Arden use Dark Forces and own goals. Press two buttons to hit two triggers at once. Oh, that's weird. That's what happens when you have two uh, control sticks. There's a single Joy-Con mode, though, so I'm wondering how that works. All right, very slightly different from the from the the uh, 3DS version. The 3DS version also let you seamlessly switch between controls and touchscreen. Like if you're playing it on the uh, if you're I'm assuming the Switch has this too. If you play it handheld mode, you could just put your finger on as a tap and swipe it as a uh, as a move button. Do I have to go over that again? Okay, no. We're good. Maybe hold one direction while I flip the Joy-Con. Well, just press both directions at the same time. Oh, you mean for the, uh, for the single control? I don't know. Victory fanfare, really? Alright. Start off with something very simple. Alright. I'm wondering how long these are going to be, because again, this is, um, the original game... Oh, these are all tutorials. Okay, never mind. This is all still the tutorial. <laughs> never I thought that was the actual, like, first stage. Play an FMS that's mostly the same way as a BMS, but you travel between battles. There's a special kind of trigger that you only get in an FMS that can be tricky to get used to. See for yourself. Oh, yeah, this is going to be weird. I'm wondering how this is going to work on the uh, controller. I think I always use the touchscreen for these. Press and hold A while tilting the step up and down to match the path. Okay, it's very, it's very lenient. It's extremely lenient. Like, it, it does not move very far. It, it generally keeps you on the path. Travel through fields and towns, battling enemies along the way. The battles aren't really the same in, in this, in FMS, though. So you just kind of slash them and you move on, I think.
Or not. Yeah, it's interesting. They're not they're a little different. In the in the three DS version, you just walk and slash them as you move along. If timing doesn't feel right quite right, you can adjust the settings in this set, yeah. Most most of the modern rhythm games have that offset mode. Try playing the title you unlocked. Oh, it didn't give me a tutorial on the other thing though. Are the BM are the are the uh, FMSs just not here? Oh yeah, so the original themes, this is in every this has been in everyone. It's very balanced to the left ear. The original uh theater rhythm was like this too. Get 60% higher or good or better judgments. See, we can't get any collector cards here. Oh my god, okay, so this is way longer than the original. The original was literally three songs and you were done. Yeah, 11 stages, wow. Practice, auto, set one. So you could make custom sets. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a ni nice ear. Nice left ear. To get items, if you fuck up a lot, you can do this to uh, get make things easier. This is nice, though. You get EXP and collect the cards. Uh, can I switch? Yes, we can. I'm an old hand at this, so I'm going to start an ultimate, and we'll see how hard that is. I may knock it down to extreme, or whatever. Extreme was extreme below ultimate. Trust guy. I got wrecked, okay. A little harder than I thought it would be. Alright, I'll bump it down one level. Beginner is probably gonna be too easy though. I'm not used to the uh, I'm not used to the double-sided things yet. I was only halfway through that song. Alright. I, I like how this how they dedicate the uh, bottom part to screenshots. You really get no EXP for losing? Wow. Okay. Dead, yeah. All right, so we know we know the third highest difficulty is a little too high for me right now. If I recall the original game, I was I was garbage at, at Supreme. Supreme was definitely way too hard for most of them. Ultimate was kind of where I sat at the end of the game, but I think with these new mechanics, I'm gonna have to bump it down to expert just for now. We'll we'll see where this takes us. Ah, I keep fucking that one up. Thank you. 
So there's no, um, there's no divergent path in this one. I don't know if that's every stage or if I need... Oh, no, you know what? I think I need a thing equipped for that to work. If you have a certain thing equipped, there's a point in every song where you could go into, like, a summon mode, essentially. And, uh, do, like, a massive amount of damage to enemies. Because, again, the stronger your party is, the more enemies they're going to go through in a song. And there are specific items that enemies will drop, so... It is, it is an RPG at the end of the day. It's an RPG rhythm game, technically. <laughs> Memory, collect a card. You've received a reward for clearing a chest. Okay. Or, clearing a quest, excuse me. Feat achieved. Now access music stages. You can access museum. Cool. Playground songs ranging from the classics to the newest arrivals. Featured songs, yeah. Yeah, 385 in the base game. There's going to be 502 uh, in the full version. Over 100 characters. Prefer a challenge. Iconic series bosses, yeah. Play the beat in the video. Yeah, there's they get they get a video in the later parts. Yeah, so much to collect. We're not... We're going to watch the video. All right, never mind. Do we have to? Do we have to do this after every song? Please, no. Oh, wait, no, this is... Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was playing it. Does it give SS grades or just an S and triple S? I have no idea. I think it's, um... I can't skip this. I'd say the fact that there's spin-off songs in this game is, is like the best part. Because the original the original Deer to Rhythm kind of stuck mostly to just the main titles only, up through 13. These are a bit different too. In the uh, in the older one, like the notes are all over the place. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of feelsy songs. Not this one that much, though. This one gives me feels, but not in a good way. If I had to guess, the one of the question mark packs at the end, because the DLC in this game is going to take about a year, like, not a year, but till the end of this year to come out. So I guess about a year. If I had to guess, because FF16 is coming out this year, one of the question mark packs at the end is going to be uh, 16. And maybe the last pack will be, like, re FF Remake 2.
Wow, Legend of Mana song to, to represent the Mana preview. That's a bit of an odd choice, but I appreciate it. Legend of Mana has a great soundtrack. I'm seeing they're not showing the Chrono character there. Do you not get them? They should. Oh yeah, that's right, there's Crystal Chronicles remastered music in this game. So good, except the remastered version of that song is not as good as the original. Alright, please tell me I don't have to watch that after every fucking song, Square. It'll, it'll be quicker just to close it and reopen it. Okay, well this is... Okay, hopefully that option's just there from now on. <laughs> they were like, look, we don't know if you're gonna stick around, so here, just watch the video now, please. Once you clear one song, you move on to the next. Keep going until you clear the whole title. Each song comes with a quest. Clear it for a reward. Clear with at least 40 HP. So, to see, you can see the bosses up in the corner that spawn in. Uh, so, you could fight these enemies, and eventually the boss will show up. They have more HP, and they drop better stuff. Oh, I get to choose which path I want to go on. Two more captain enemies. Someday. What, Chrono Remake? Well, here's what I think. I think Chrono is going to be the last game in the HD 2D engine that they're going to do. I think that's going to be like their last big remake. The GBA version of this song is really good. Start using the D-pad there. realize for the in inner arrows and the outer arrows, I could have done the same exact movement. Because it doesn't matter what stick you use. Combo hit 100. Like, I want to make Super Jesus crush jokes, but I can't say you much contest. Oh, are we talking about Xeno again? I think the rank goes up to SS if you get, like, everything. It goes up to double S. I got, a ton I got more perfects than others. Rhythm has exceeded 250. You received a reward. I think one of the most annoying things about the first one was watching your Rhythmia crystal go up after every song. You get to wait. You get to wait for the animation to play. Okay, good. That, that thing only popped up once. Some songs have stage effects that make them a little different from a typical MS. If, for example, stage increases the damage you take, it might be wise to assign healing and defense characters. Press plus to open the edit, and uh, more about stage effects available from the settings menu. Got it. Okay, so we can go back and do others. I think what we'll do is we'll stick to clearing these, and then if I have time, I'll go back after we finish it. 
Because, again, there are 30 songs in this demo, so it's going to take a while. Defeat one or more Marlboro enemies. Allies deal double physical damage. Okay, so this is good for us. Also, I just noticed that the purple option isn't available on this song. Jesus, could still... I remember if the game made, like, sound when you touch stuff. Uh, when a note wasn't on screen in the other ones. Why am I getting bad on that? Hold up. Something's something's going off when I how, how come I can't move? What why is my cursor not moving? Be gods or whatever, be as gods, yeah. What is happening? Oh my god. That's- those slides are not working right. Something's like... sticking. When I'm trying to move through them. Oh, come on. Those multiplayer battles are just cool, I guess. Oh good, I don't have to watch the video again. Trophy card, yeah. That was Street Pass in the other game. I have the top spot in multiplayer battles. Okay, I'm a little a little weirded out here. I don't know why the uh, slide thing is suddenly not working the way it's supposed to. Let's give this another shot here. I think I got it. Up, down, down. Up, down, down. Up, down, up. Letting go of it does not put it back in neutral. I have to slide it back in place.
Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a little weird. It's it's a little weird because again, the way the 3DS version worked was that if you had the touch screen, you would just slide the the thing up and down in the line with a lot more fluidity. This you just have to either hold up fully or hold down fully. There's like no subtle movements. If the notes above you just mash up, if the notes below you mash down, if the end of the road is up or down from the last node, you have to press up. You have to press that way as well. So it's a little weird, a little weird, but I think um, I think I'm get, I got the hang of it now. We should be okay. This is as far as you could go. Enjoy the rest of the game in the full version. Okay. Okay, so we can so so they're not letting us finish a game in this. That's cool. I'm fine with that, honestly. Wait, Xenogears is only gonna have three songs, and it's not a really good one. I don't know. I, does it list what songs are gonna be in it? Lena, Galoof, Bartz, Ferris, and Krill. Krill? Look at her. She's got cat mouth. Butts. Butts poop. Looks like someone acquired a new ability. Go ahead and sign it so you can try it out. Each character can have the three abilities. Choose an empty slot and press X to automatically uh, optimize. You can also set an airship summon sort of Moogle to the party. Oh. There we go. Big issue is I don't think anyone gets experience when they're not being used, yeah. Like, Leon's still level one. Galoof's Grandor specializes in offensive magic buffs and debuffs. Power can I, Captain can unleash her physical abilities twice in a row. One of the Dawn Warriors with high strength and a number of fire attacks. Season travel could significantly increase his own stats. Princess of Tycoon specializing in ma ice magic can revive the party from zero HP. You know what, let's swap in the other party. They give you it's, it's funny they give you five characters for each. Cryo Analog shows up in Heaven's Warden. She's great. Ooh. Unless I see it, saw it seems to have a good chunk of them, but man, not the so goddamn amazing battle theme. What a wasted slot. Unless they put another one, but you doubt it. Hmm. Grandpa. Increases character spirit. I don't know if that... W I don't think that's permanent, though. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Main theme of Final Fantasy V. Oh, so they don't even have the same amount of stages. This is 16 songs. Wow, they really upped their game. Never beaten five. I haven't seen much of like five is like the one. It's like the one Final Fantasy I don't see people talk about like ever. Oh, there's a little crust there. Did you hear that? Some HP drops below 50. 15. How come, how come the final difficulty was available on the first song, but not this one? <laughs> but not any other song? It's really good and made it damn far, but never finished. Ah, I've heard a lot of people talk shit about, uh, 5. Just mainly that's underwhelming, but... I guess when you're sandwiched between 4 and 6, you really... It's, it's a hard... 
standard to live up to. It's gonna get a felt shot from Saga Frontier 2, so job system's great. Ah, oh, interesting. Four, three, oh wait, was three the one with f five? Five is the one where you have five characters on the screen at once, right? It's like the most unique thing about it is that there's a five person party. And there's only two, two, uh. Two setups. Three in the front, two in the back, or two in the front, three in the back. Four was the five man party, really? That was oh, interesting. I've never actually played four. That's like that's on the to-do list at some point. When the pixel uh, remasters come to Switch, I might consider it. I've also never streamed six, which is you know my absolute favorite. So I will stream uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If I have a PS5 by the end of this year. We'll see, though. Come to think of it, I never did the Integrade DLC for uh, 7 Remake. So if I get a PS5, I'll do that as well before it comes out. I mean, assuming I have time, once, once Tears of the Kingdom comes out, let's be honest, my streams are fucked. That one's a little weird, okay. Gotta like roll my finger for that. A, B, See, like, look, I was level 1, the boss only just showed up at the very end of that. If I bring in people that are, like, level 99, you'll see me, like, blast through, like, four bosses in one song. Pixel Master made some artistic edits, now the Empire salutes by raising both hands. Eh, better safe than sorry. I know that the, um, Pixel Remaster of 6 use, uses uh, HD2D in the opera scene, which is really cool. It looks really nice. And I've heard the remastered music is also very good. Apparently they're changing the text. For the uh, console releases as well, so it'll not look like half with ass. Should you get some life cereal? I've never had life cereal. Get some frosted flakes, those are good. I dare say they're great. I like all the old school art I'm getting. Game contents part three. Featuring songs from various titles. I like how Live Alive and Chrono Trigger are on there twice. 90 songs to be released as DLC with season passes to sweeten the deal. The Digital Deluxe Edition includes the base game plus 27 extra songs, including theme music, plus the first DLC season pass. Eyes on me, Xanderkin, Zero. The premium Digital Deluxe version contains the base game plus 27 extra songs, including the main theme, plus all DLC. That is what I pre-ordered. It is, uh, it is 100 bucks. It's a lot, but considering that the 3DS theater rhythm was about like 80 or $90 after all the DLC and it only had maybe like 200 or 300 songs, I'd say that a uh, hundred bucks for 500 songs is a pretty damn good deal. This game has a lot of replayability. No love for your babies. So far you've only watched Six's Pixel Remaster up to reaching Figaro Castle. Hmm. Four hearts. So this has Supreme available. It's weird. Open the pause menu during this to view quest details. Oh, you can actually pause the loading screen. That's weird. I was like, why is the pause on the screen? 
Earn one or more treasure chests. Simple enough. It looks like the rankings on the nodes are based on how fast I hit the direction. Not not if I'm lined up with it. Because the lining up happens automatically. I really gotta have my other thumb on that stick, ready to go. I didn't get any chests. Also, Fossil Flicks are okay, they're okay. Oh god, though, the Mexican version sucks. Not the same stuff, really. Yep, there we go, double S. Perfect. But I got no chests. I stacked no paper and got no bitches. Ooh, is that a summon? Quest reward. Oh, okay. So the reward is for that quest. Achieve first perfect chain. Nice. Usual cereals, frosted mini wheats. Do good. Good choice. Honey bunches of oats is my go to. Like, if I don't know what I want, that's the cereal I get, and it's always good. Makes the best cereal milk. Ooh, we got three choices here. I mean, we kind of have to. Well, we got two two fields on a battle, then. So the summon stone equal fall forth the summon during a BMS. Summon stones have a number of other effects too. Your favorite summon can be even made even greater with a better with a great effect. Okay. Deals heavy ice damage to enemies in a freezing blast. Trigger damage dealt five percent. Found by M. Oh, I can get and receive them. That's weird. That's interesting. I could delete them too? Why? In the full version of the game, you can attach a summon stone to your profi card to give the other players you exchange profi cards with. If you get a powerful summon stone, you could share it with other players. I guess they must have different effects. Honey bunches of oats is okay, but I've choked on it more than once slurping the dregs, really. Standard- oh, pear. Simple? What, what? That reminds me, I have, uh, I have the Kingdom Hearts rhythm game and I've never played it. What's the difference between simple and standard? Is simple just like one button press? DFFOO gives Ferris a combo attack with Waka. Really?
Not bad. Chris does a blitz ball routine with him as an assistant. Neat. Nice. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think you get double S unless you get a perfect. Unfortunately. Rhythm has exceeded 1250. Receive a reward for clear request. Nice, nice, nice. All right, yeah, it's a little again. It's it's a little different. The mechanics are a bit weirder, but getting used to it. It's four bosses for the stage. I'm guessing it's gonna end after this one though. to deal more than 4,500 damage to uh, get the quest here. Yeah, what? That's weird. Does it like still load in the background if I have that paused? Why would you pause it before the song loads? It's, yeah. it's wacky. Wacky. Square Enix is wacky. That's weird. I, I know I let go of those at the same time, but I got a different ranking on them. Okay, you get to see the summons now. The bar at the bottom is a little hard to see, but that's the time for the song. It creates a weird issue in the. F I don't know how how it's gonna if it's gonna be variable in this game, but the original Deer to Rhythm, as well as the mobile phone version of it, especially the mobile phone version of it, had a very bad habit where all songs cut off after three minutes. So like the final battle theme of Final Fantasy, um, twelve. Would just would just end before it even gets to the good part, or no? It would it would start in the middle of the song, do the good part, and then once it moves on to the part after that, it would just stop. It would like fade out. Cause that final battle theme in, in twelve is like is like a ten minute long song. Ooh, I got an airship. Nice. I wonder what that does. Called forth first summon. So the summons work differently too, because in the original game. Summons would, uh, summons would actually, uh, like, they would create a divergent path on the, on the level that you could do instead. Okay, they're just repeating this now. But thankfully, we don't have to rewatch the video. 
very thankful for that. Okay, there we go. Key. I'm gonna go back here real quick. I wanna see something. So that... So these both have standard pair and simple. I wanna see what simple does. Simultaneous triggers require only one button press. Other actions take while holding a button, like moving up and down, are performed automatically. Oh, okay. So it isn't easy. It's an assist mode. It probably tells you you played it on simple, though, in the, in the high score. Yep, I'm only hitting one button for those. So it's just, so it's just an assist mode. It's an easy mode. Achieve at the very end. 108. Not bad. Alright, so simple, simple obviously is. Oh, there is triple S. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, the symbol above the difficulty, I think, is the control scheme. So my high score is going to be recorded as using simple on uh, expert. Silver growth egg. A critical trigger with a critical or better for 1.6 times damage. Ah, nice. Ah, look, it, it actually saves a high score for each control mode. That's cool. Yeah, look at, look at that difficulty spike there. 3 to 12. <laughs> Alright. Before I go any further here, uh, actually, before I go any further, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Uh, I have to- I have to use the toilet. I will be right back. Quickest bathroom break I think I've ever taken on stream. That was less than a minute and a half. I didn't want to leave it on the main page because I was afraid that was good. It was- I, I just- Because yeah. if you leave the- if you leave it- oh wow, look how many more abilities I have. If you leave a game idling, then, you know, that increases the chances of Square Enix claiming the music, which doesn't really matter. This whole game, again, is going to be a copyright nightmare when I upload the VOD to YouTube. I don't think it's going to matter much on Twitch, but we'll see. So, before we go any further... February 1st, special day. The city of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. We received a silver growth egg to celebrate the game's launch in Japan. Oh, that's interesting. So they actually give you, like, special items based on, like, Final Fantasy uh, history. So, Dissidia came out in Japan on 2017, February 1st. Next special day is the 7th. So, 
I believe this just lets you this is this is just lets you pick stages individually. You can freely play any stage you unlock. Aim for a new high score or max damage record. You can choose from three different playstyle standards. The most basic pair can be played with two players. Simple allows you to play with only one button. I should have just gone here first. Okay, so that's difficulty. That's okay. Oh, because I didn't play this on normal. I'm like, why is this here? All oh, okay. Series, movement type, song name, difficulty, cleared rank. Okay, that's cool. And you could add favorites to make a playlist. There was a mode in the original one where it was like a dungeon type thing, but I don't think they have that in this game. They multi battles the replacement for it. Just checking some stuff here real quick. Why am I- why is my calendar giving me, an, uh, like, announcements? Oh, that's weird. Okay, I don't care. Whatever. Mm. And I just spilled juice on myself. Cool! <sighs> Pausing again. Yeah, I just realized, leaving the screen on a- on a song isn't gonna matter because I'm not recording it. So it's not gonna be on the VOD anyway. Anyway, I, I accidentally spilled some juice on me. Uh, it's fine. Some, uh, some Alma Palmer. Just wanna make sure it doesn't dry and make things sticky, so I'm, I'm wiping it off immediately. Mmm. Uh, so we got a museum. Let's check that out for a little bit. Got Choco. It's Boko. You can view all your collected cards. There are cards of different characters, enemies, and more. As you obtain collected cards, you get special bonuses like character stat boost or enemy increased EXP from enemy. View a collected card to see what bonuses it gives you. That's interesting. I think in the original, you just got more of the same type. Like, you just... Oh, wow, look how many there are. Summon, enemy, album, memory. There are over... There are over... There's 1,225 of these. Oh, my God. Raise all stats for Warrior of Light except HP. That's cool. So Warrior of Light now has higher stats in battle. Uh, I had at least two. Oh, the rest of them are all special. Okay. Oh, they're all the backgrounds. Okay. That's cool. Again, a little more in-depth than the original game. I, I thought these weren't going to be here, honestly. But this game, th I guess this series kind of prides itself on collectibles. Uh, watch movies. I think, yeah, this is just like the opening and ending movies. And FMVs that you could watch. You could just listen to the music here, which Square Enix, I'm sure, is like incredibly happy with it. Some songs will not be available in the music player. You can listen to the music you've unlocked. You got all the all the fun categories, playlists, random, whatever. We're here to play music, not listen to music. Total counts, series, multi battle, battle party. Total abilities used, distance traveled, stage items used, power up skills used, summon stones dropped. Total damage dealt. Combined character star level. I don't know what that is. Basic, expert, ultimate, and supreme score. Summon stones given. Profi cards received. Summon stones received. Top characters used. I've used everyone five times. Top songs played. Main theme twice and everything else. Okay. First, second, 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 ninth, tenth. <laughs> Feats. These are like the achievements. Called forth for summon. 
Chief press critical cram. Maybe with an all critical or better. Cleared first Final Fantasy 2 song. If you clear a song from Final Fantasy 4. So it gives you hints on how to get some of them. And there's a hundred total. I don't think they do anything though. They're just there. Alright. Before I move back into gameplay here, there's one thing I want to enable just to check it out. before I switch my party up again. All right, so this is something that Square Enix uh, showed off. This is called Live Info Display. Apparently, this is like a streamer overlay that you could show timing judgment, button inputs, and high score for people watching at home. And I'm very curious to see how this like interferes with the screen. So we're gonna be popping that on uh, and I'm gonna do the other song in FF5 and two. And if I don't like it, I'll just take it off. Crystal shines brighter the more rhythm you earn. Its glimmer will lead you to rewards like special items. Oh my god, look at this. Okay. Wow, it gives you it gives you a ton of info here. The screen is definitely smaller as a result. Video's a little janky with this lowered uh, resolution. Like, it doesn't move as smoothly because I think it just downscales the uh, graphics for the playing field in real time. Like, you can see it kind of janks a little bit. Okay. Crispy time. So, it shows you your criticals, your button inputs. Your speed. That's cool. That's cool. It's that's a it's it's a weirdly cool decision to include that in this game. I don't know how useful it'd be overall unless you're like a hardcore player trying to do tutorials for other people. But uh, it's it's a neat option to have. Okay, does tell you what maps you got, or where you are, or how many you completed. It blah, 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 blah. tells you what you've completed on the map. That's good. Let's go back to two and do the one song I missed there before we move on to the next uh, two. Alright, so it's just this. It's just town. Level 24. So what's the max level everyone can beat this? 30? It's 99 normally. I believe in the, um, in the, uh, in the demo they said it's 30. Vessel takes the heroes throughout the skies of the Final Fantasy series. What, what does that do? Try ultimate on this one. 
now that I have a bit more experience with this. Oh, it just it, we just get off it at the beginning. That's cool. Neat little touch. I messed it up because I was seeing the um, I was seeing the thing at the very end, like the direction at the end, and it was throwing me off because I had to hold a different direction to get to that point. All right, that's cool. Again, I'm not focusing on the overlay at all, so if that's not something other people need, then I'm not gonna bother. Also, I just realized I'm not gaining any more rhythmia. <laughs> the rhythmia is capped at 2,000. I want to see something. Do they put the big ass watermark on these? They probably do. They, it's a it's a small one. This isn't this isn't the JoJo game where they slap they slap uh, a third not a third but like a, a sizable chunk of the corner with a a copyright. All right, I'm gonna turn the overlay back off. But if if people want to see it, they're more than welcome to. So I, I kind of sc scooted over this originally. Fight for the top spot in multiplayer battles. So the original game had like asynchronous multiplayer where it was kind of like you interacted like via ghosts. I think. I can't remember. It had sharing. I know that. Oh no, no. What it was was you, you were able to pick notes from the dungeon that gave you two specific stages to play through. And you could share those with other people and then you could, they could grind those stages for uh, items. Into your opponent's bursts to hide their screen and more. Hey, I'm all for having my screen hidden. Show off your records of your very own profi card, which I don't think is in this version. Share and receive summon stones as you exchange profi cards. Again, I've already pre-ordered it. No reason for me to go to the eShop. All right, cool. So we got the ba we got we got the basics of what this is. So now we could just enjoy the music. Uh, after I turn the live function off. Actually, you know what? I'll keep it on for a bit. I just want to see what it's like if I turn all that off. Like, what... Like, what's this going to show if I turn the timing judgment? I'm assuming that's the one at the bottom right. Button inputs is the controller, and the high score was above that. So I'm, like, interested to see what's going to happen if I leave those off. We'll move on to seven. Oh, we're getting seven characters from this, too. We're getting the whole team. Cloud Tifa, Aerith. Look at, look at Aerith's face. Barrett, Red 13, Yuffie, and Vinny. Vinny Vine Sauce. Local streamer, Vinny Vine Sauce. Uh, okay, cool.
do our boy. Let's do Clud. No Sid or, Ka or Catchy. Oh, you're right. They might be unlockable later, though. Again, there's 300 characters in this game, so... I'm sure there's plenty of it. Uh, we need our healer. Though she can't heal without the ability. Phys oh, it actually just says physical healing and defense. I like that they gave him a little more personality in their images. Defense type. Make sure, let's go Barret. Hunter and Maj Oh, so you get more items, too. There's people that could... That's cool. So Yuff Yuffie or Yuffie can actually get get us more items. Probably one of the Turks. Wait, really? Oh yeah, I guess because he was he was sealed. He was experimented on. She can master numerous physical abilities, turn misses into hits, and avoid taking damage. That's interesting. Also, yeah, something um something that doesn't display here. The HP of the part, the, the amount of damage you could take or amount of misses you can have during a song is actually determined by all of these HP stats put together. So if you want more, if you want to be able to make more mistakes, you take more, um, you take, you put in more defense characters and you pick people with higher HP. DFFOO scra scraped the barrel for characters and added Rex Vans Bro from 12 who dies in the tutorial. Really? Oh, it, it uh, optimizes your summon stone too. I'm assuming they're only going to give us, like, four songs from this. <laughs> in the demo. I do believe there's remake music in this as well. Uh, 14 stages, and it looks like we're getting five of them. Okay. Defeat three or more MP enemies. Ah, uh, this is- this is taking me back. Seven and six are the only two mainline games I've completed at this point. And and seven remake as well, if you want to count that. Oh, it just dims those areas. That's weird. Okay, well, it's pointless to have that on screen then. Oops. Oh god, this is really hard to keep track of. I can't do this. Yeah, I fucked that up. Whoa. Foot show pre pre foot uh, promo show footage for me making the cutscenes, yeah. Okay. So I am, uh, I am not well to do on this. I mean, granted, I did get more criticals and greats than goods, bads, and misses. It's just that those bads and misses really fuck you up if you mess up. And also, I'm level 1, so... If I play again, does it automatically... Yeah, it just restarts. Okay. Can I just back out? go back. I'm gonna turn the, the overlay off too now. It's neat. It's it's really cool that it's there, but um Oh actually wait, can I just edit that from the from the from here? Because there's settings that you can access here. It's cool that they put that in. I think it's it's really neat for people that want that info, but it's not really important. Why? Here we go. Trigger You early late- I'm gonna turn that on. 
Okay, you can't do, you can't turn the uh, overlay on and off from here. But yeah, I'm noticing, I'm definitely noticing that the video quality is a little lower. Because it's like actively compressing it, rather than being natively set to that. So I'm just going to turn it off. Neat though, very neat. standard. We're going to go expert, which unfortunately half half the difficulty. I guess auto just lets you play, lets, lets the stage play on its own. Use the beginning of music stage, multiplies the EXP gain by two. Yeah, let's, let's use that. Doubles collect the cards dropped. Wow, you can just use all the items, huh? Alright, let's do that. Slide triggers become touch triggers and simple. Okay. Good to know. This is, these are a little tricky, because you have to let go of one button and then hit the other one at the same time. It's, it's like, easier if you kind of roll your finger. You're dumb. Oh, I see what the late and early timers are. You can see there's like a color next to the ranks. Like if you see if you see a red arrow going right, that means uh I'm too early. If you see a, a blue arrow going left, it means I'm too late. Other way around. Roll the R. 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 I kind of did it. I have trouble with that. are off, baby. Oh, these are both good. We're doing it. Well, I mean, we're doing all of them. We're doing all 30 songs, but... Oh, it keeps these selected. Uh, let's, let's turn it off. I don't waste too many items yet.
I could also use the LNR, but I don't have to use the face buttons. If it's easier for me to use the triggers, I might I might do that. Because there's never more than two buttons needed at once. Plus, my dumb needs to be close to the other stick for the double directions. Yeah, see, like, the, the songs all have kind of a weird cutoff point. And I think that's because there's, there's probably, like, a hard time limit for the, for the songs to end. Something. <laughs> it's cloud. Something. Defeat one or more guard scorpion enemies. Okay. I'm not going to credit Square Enix. I'm going to credit Square Enix for putting a lot of music in the game. I'm not going to credit them for making three different deluxe versions that that aren't that are confusing. Of course, they put all like the, the the good songs at the like they put all the ones you know at the beginning. I'm surprised they put seven in the demo. You would think six and seven would be like the, the like the ace up their sleeves that they want to uh, hold on to later. Whoa, 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 wow! I, I fucked something up there. My, my brain went, like... My brain, like, shut off and went somewhere else there.
it gets a little disorienting when you got a ton of them coming at you at once. Reno Nevada. And I got a 100 combo again. You know what? I'm S ranking it. That's that's good enough for me. Again, I'm a little disappointed by how early they cut off the uh, Rhythmia bonus in this version, in this demo, but it is what it is. It's only six. Right, let's go. Because, like, again, the Rhythmia isn't, isn't a currency. It just accumulates over time as you play levels and you unlock stuff. And you could get up to, like, nine... I think you could... In the original one, I think it was either five nines or six nines. It's, it's, the thing's happening again where it like, doesn't follow. Is my is my controller stuck? Is that what's happening? I think the Joy-Con's drifting. Uh, not the Joy-Con. I think uh, I think my Pro controller's drifting and it's causing one stick to override the other. Because I'm like I'm like holding down. I'm like, why isn't this moving? Might be time to to grease this up again. Maybe. Uh, I am only can only glance over, but I saw you say something about Persona 4, uh, and I'm assuming it's you want to buy it for either Switch or Steam Deck. I would say both platforms have their merit, but Steam Deck you're going to be able to install mods, so if you care about that, then that's probably the better choice. Probably also performs better on the Steam Deck, but... Actually, I don't think it performs badly on the Switch. I haven't heard anything about it performing badly. Persona 3 is the only bad one. Ooh, that's disorienting. Yeah, see, it's not even the whole song. Didn't go into the end part. Though, unlike the uh, 3DS version, it faded out before it went, in, before it started going in there. A rank. Ugh. Well, that was extreme, so whatever. Don't know what you buy for Switch or Steam Deck. I've heard good. Okay, I've I've heard that Persona 4 runs well on e either platform. Um, it's you know Switch is great, but you have a, if you have a Steam Deck and that's portable too, you might as well get it on that because it's probably going to run better. Check to see if it's compatible first. And again, you could end, you could probably put mods on that version, so... 
Uh, but yeah, Persona 3 Portable, the, the, the modern port of it is not good. Uh, there's a lot of complaints about how it performs. I see, uh, I see Reno back there again. Earn six million or more points. Ooh, I got Phoenix. When did that happen? Item drop rate plus 20. Physical damage dealt plus 15. That is going right on my profi card. Someone by filter by rarity. Locked. Cannot delete. Increase each party member's agility by 30. Active until the end of the MS. Restores 15% of the HP gauge and cures uh, poison. I hate to say this, but I might I might be babby mode in this game for quite a while. I don't think um I don't think streaming it I'm gonna be able to be as good with the controller as I would be if I was just using the touch screen. This is a field song, okay. Interesting. Why does your internet keep acting up on? I don't know. It's just, it sucks. Sorry to hear it. <clears throat> uh, uh, why does my voice sound weird? Oh, I did. I got the six million. Nice. Smoking six style. Oh, I see. Complete clear is a uh, if you beat it without defeating the quest. Okay, cool. Well, that's a uh, three. There's two. There's three more. So we're halfway done. But there's gonna be a lot less fiddling around now. So we're good. So we can do 15, 14, or t 13. Ugh. Wait, I'm, what's between? Oh, I see. So 13 has its own stage, and then 13 series has its own. 11 online. 10 and 10 2 have their own stages. Oh, look. Re oh, cool. So you have Final Fantasy... So Final Fantasy 7 has three maps. It has uh, basic uh, compilation of Final Fantasy 7, and then remake specifically. 
So you get, you get, we're getting a whole lot of seven in the final game. Uh, 14 only has one section, which is kind of, kind of weird. Thought they would have had more for the other, uh, for the other expansions, but whatever. Again, we got, we got a lot here. We got a lot to go through. Yeah, let's just do 13. Lightning, snow, vanilla, and hope. Well, at least there's only four of them, so I could, it's easier to level them up. Again, I'm not making any sets right now, just because I don't really- I'm not really committed to anyone. Now we're gonna get more in practice mode, you could- It'd be nice to read those, I guess that's why you could pause the, uh... Loading- loading screens. Defeat one or more Psycom officer enemy. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, they're giving us five songs for this as well. I guess all of them are five. This is the battle theme from 13? This song's good. does work well on the Steam Deck, of course, it's verified. Nice. That's good. My boy, Phoenix! Not, again, not prepared for the doubles. Probably get Persona 4 on the Steam Deck, though. Might buy some stuff on Switch as exclusive, but I'll get anything else for the Steam Deck. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, if you, the, 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 let's be honest, the Steam Deck is more powerful than the Switch. If the games can run on it flawlessly, then you're better off getting those versions. Lightning. Yeah, we've we seen this over four hundred, over hundred characters. That's it. I don't see. Uh, hmm. Maybe that is all the characters. Why does the DLC get any characters though? That kind of sucks. With little nostalgic scenes and 26 event music stages, so they didn't they didn't put any of those in this uh, demo, EMSs or what those are called. 
there are none uh, here, unfortunately. Oh no, my gift sub to a channel I never watched expired. That sucks. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. I always appreciate it. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Saber's Edge. Battle Beam. Again, I'm probably not going to play this much once I finish th this demo stream, just because I don't want to have to, like... I don't want to grind through all this and not get any of that Rhythmia. I'd rather just wait for the full version and gain the Rhythmia while I'm playing it. can't let the patterns freak you out. You just gotta look at whatever's coming next. Also, I just realized, I don't think uh, these bars refer to a specific character like they did in the other game. Reaction stream on Discotex upcoming content and one of the hosts excellently gifted five streams in Discotex channel instead of in their own. <laughs> Discotech Media, let me tell you, those people excellent. They are excellent. They they do so much good work in trying to keep uh lost anime media alive and, and available for people. Oh yeah, there is a max score. No matter how good you do, your score cannot exceed um, 10 million points. Well, one point below that, but uh, there, there, that is the max score technically. That being said, you still can, uh, you still can get criticals. Like you could, you could go for better, like like timings and stuff, like criticals and stuff like that. You can essentially go for a perfect uh, melody bar towards the bottom. The reaction was basically, oh, we don't quite understand this, but thanks. <laughs> Move at 1.6 times normal speed. This is the main battle theme. That other song was like the intro battle theme. Okay, 
Okay, so anything like above five or six is probably going to be too hard for me. down middle. Not bad. Uh, so my streams got kind of messed up this week because of uh, how I planned it. I think what I might do is I might take tomorrow off. That was almost full perfect right there. I might take tomorrow off. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. I, m I might do... What? I don't know. My original intent was that this stream was going to be short, but it's not. This is going to be like a full stream of this. Which is cool. Thank you, Square Enix, for making such a big uh, demo. So I can, uh, I can full fill a whole stream with it. And it saves me time later when I stream the full version. Um, I want to do another Final Fantasy 14 stream this week. Uh, definitely want to try to make progress in Strong Bad. At least get Episode 4 and Start 5 done. Uh, and I want to get another Pizza Tower stream in. So we'll see how I'm splitting that. But I think that between now and Friday, I have to take at least one day off. And if it's not... T I said Thursday, but it may be tomorrow. Honestly, I'm not sure yet. Triggers are judged a bit more harshly. Oh, because I'm fight. No, I'm fighting Odin. Thought maybe it's because I'm fight. Because oh no, 13, 12 is the game with the judges in it. Twelve is the game that like connects to tactics, right? Because it's the same world. Ivalice. And then the judges are like a major part of Twelve story. Desperate Struggle. I like that. That's a fun No More Heroes game.
That was un that was kind of hard to keep track of. Now, if I let go of B, would, it, would that have counted as well? I'm not sure. I didn't clear the quest here, though. I did get a treasure, though. There's some evil loose content in FF14. Stormblood covers how people know about... Okay. Remember the teleporter the party used to... Yeah. 12! No, but 12 is, is closely... Uh... Yeah, 12 and Tactics are, are, were what evil loose was from, originally. Well, tw uh, Tactics, and then... 12 was fault. Yeah. I don't know. Defeat boss Odin. Okay. Well, that's not happening now. 12 tactics and va vagrant story. Oh, I didn't know vagrant story was part of that. Right, there we go. Key. I gotta go and see what the one I cleared on, uh, the ones I cleared on, uh, Ultimate are. March of the Dreadnoughts, though, I don't know. We'll try this on Ultimate. It seems like the, the field ones are easier on Ultimate. Or just easier in general, because there's only one track. Lime Music 13 puts you to sleep or just too subdued for your taste. I mean, the Sunlit Waterscape is, like, one of the most iconic songs from that game, and it, it definitely doesn't whelm. It underwhelms. These patterns are rougher than I'm used to. Wow, that sucked. I thought I was hitting at the good rhythm at that point too. I'm surprised I died there. I could get no EXP from that is annoying. I don't know if it was like that before. And I'm getting punished by having to see this again. Okay, so ten is still a two step ten to ten but I could speak. Ten is still a step too hard for me right now. So we'll have to uh we'll have to put that go lower than 10.
Ooh, that one was weird. I was not expecting two uh, two diagonals in the same uh, in the same horizontal or vertical direction. Alright, 13's down. We got a 14 and a 15 section now. So we're getting Ishtola, Isht Isht then Cred, Ida, Alpha now, and Ishtola number two. Okay. She's so cool, they had to make two of her. Those creatures kind of look like Digimon, the cactus and the metal thing. Yeah, they kind of do. The cactor? Yeah. It's a goob! I fought one of these offline. Uh, I did the, the DPS basic quests, and the final boss of it was a goob. A goob way. Right, let me equip them. Oh, they got a lot of shit. Silent Hero specializing in wind magic and magic power boosting abilities. Miko Take Conjure specializes in wind magic and HP recovery. Don't. I, I don't know. Are these like actually separate characters in, in the game or is it just a separate. Yeah, whatever. We need a healer, so she's in. Charming Rogue with the ability to raise the party's agility while attacking. Easy-going pugilist who can unleash a flurry of fire attacks. A wise arcanist who can heal the party as he heals damage, as he deals damage. So I've only met Vancred so far, and I've seen Alpha Na in the in the cutscenes, but that's it. I got another Shiva. Collect damage ability up by 10%. Collect the card rate drop 30%. Well, I can't get random collect the cards, so that's kind of pointless in the demo. Physical dim. Uh, this is honestly. The Phoenix is honestly better. Well, there's a. Holy, he holy hell, look at this. 14 has 32 stages. And we, we're gonna get six of them in this demo, I believe. Why not? We'll start with a song we've heard a ton of lately. Wait a minute, this one was only four. Hold up. Just back out. God damn it, Daiso is opening up another store in Washington. Uh, clear without using items. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This one's only four for the expert difficulty. I want to see if, if extreme is like seven... I might be able to do it. It's eight. Well, let's give it a shot. Ten for ten for uh, field songs are too much, but eight on a field song might be enough for me. My Intellion is judging me from his little corner that I stuck him in.
Wow, we barely survived that. I did not do well. I mean, I didn't do too bad. My score was pretty good. But my my HP definitely took a took a bad hit there. <laughs> Only an A rank. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, the 3DS, the first 3DS curtain call or curtain call theater rhythm, I was doing so well on uh on on the red difficulty. But uh apparently apparently the control difference now is a uh, a little too rough on me. Might be input to oh I mean it's also just me not getting again the touch screen makes it way easier. Ultimate. really confused about what's happening down there and I'm like, oh, they're poisoned, or they're blinded. Goblins. The Goblinos. I think I am gonna skip tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be the night I get the, uh, thing I have to do done. And then Thursday I'll come back with, like, a long, strong, bad stream. Kind of like I did, um, yesterday with the, uh, Pizza Tower 14 stream. And then on... And then what I'll do on Friday is I'll do a repeat of Monday stream. I'll do Pizza Tower for a few hours, and then I'll do 14 again for a few hours. And then, over the weekend, I'll see if maybe I could stream again. I want to hit streams extra hard while I still can, because, uh, definitely some stuff coming up that'll affect that. Um. Oh, they only got one ability each right now, okay. Seven, and this is a field one. Mm, we might be able to do that. I mean, I might be able to do those on simple. Like, here's the thing. Like, what's more? What? What? what what's? What's less honorable? That's not what I was gonna say, but I'll word it that way. What's less honorable? Easier difficulty with normal control scheme, or harder difficulty with easier control scheme?
Neither? <laughs> so I'm a bitch if I do it either way then. match the rhythm at all. Okay, well, seven's definitely doable for field. Seven difficulty or lower. Pretty much someone out there will bitch about something no matter what, so who cares? Just do what you like, yeah. Without a game over. Sorry, one second. Nice. Like that, it's 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 all the music from the beginning of the game where I am right now, so it's all music I know. <laughs> it sounded off there, didn't it? Yeah, something about that trumpet sounds a little off compared to the in-game version. Oh my god, how do I... How do I get my phone to stop in, in notifying me of stuff that's like... Months and months away. Ignore, ignore. Done. There. No more numbers. Stop. I just have no party member. No, I have to. You have to have at least one party member. Because otherwise you don't have HP. Yeah, something's off with that, uh, with that horn. There's, like, something, like, digitally messed up with it. Defeat one or more Cuero enemies. That's that, those things right there. This version's different. There's, there's like, the one, some of the instruments are different. 
Like, this wasn't normally, like, a, a flute-type sound, like a pan flute in the, uh, actual game. And I know, because I've listened to it, like, for hours at this point. Slipped up at the end of there. I always do that. I don't know any of these songs. I know that apparently all the demo songs are from A Realm Reborn, so... I will be hearing them at some point in the near future. Maybe not, actually, because my subscription does expire on Sunday, I think. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't have any plans to re-up it just yet. I'm gonna keep it expired so that I could force myself to get some other stuff done. Digimon Survive has been weighing heavily on my shoulders for a while. Like, I feel it was a mistake to stream that and Strong Bad, honestly. Strong Bad's not a bad game, I just don't think I should have streamed it. It's not too bad. Might have been able to do that, uh... The harder one. Perfect chain. Nice on. Defeat nine or more enemies. Well, I couldn't do any perfect. I couldn't do any better than that, so my team's just not strong enough for that. Again, you don't have to keep it to the, to the party members from that game. You can mix and match if you want. Okay, so we're getting... 
Oh, we're getting uh, seven songs from this game, it seems. Two, king, two more king behemoths. Probably gonna be too hard. Keep it an expert. It's honestly a good thing I didn't stream this with 14, because I would have either never got to 14 or I'd have to split the demo into two streams. it like I dropped uh, that hired hand in that one quest. I, I did the next, um, well, I guess I never really went over my progress in that because I did it off stream. I did the level 20 Domiturgy quest today and there's an event fight at the end with three imps and you have a hired hand with you and if the hired hand drops you lose the battle and it was so hard to, to win that. Like, you, you pretty much had to follow the directions and put the enemies to sleep. Otherwise, you get overwhelmed extremely quickly. There's no Bravely package for this game, is there? There's Octopath, but no Bravely Default. Which is kind of weird, because I'm pretty sure Bravely Default music was in the 3DS games. Oh, look how much my HP, my level went up from that, compared to the actual stages. Nemesis. Look, this is kind of a spoiler. Maybe ten or more abilities. Okay, I can't do that in Ultimate. But it's like ridiculous. It goes from four stars to ten stars between the two of them. It'd be nice if there was like a level in between. I feel like the gap here is a little wider than uh, what we're used to.
Let me ask you something. Yeah, what a burb? What about it? What about the burb? I have the burb. Hold on. I can show you the burb. Where is he? Here he is. I also have the goal widget set up here. There we go. Nice. Still need 35 more followers to hit the next goal, by the way. So feel free to follow if you're not. What's this? Whoa. That's weird and confusing. I'm sure that will never come up in the future. Uh, that's all of them for here, right? Yeah. It'd be nice if you just move on this map. Make it a little easier. Alright, one more game to go and then we finish the demo. Nicely packed into one stream. You ever have those why bother moments over a single thing? All the time! When I skip streaming, when I don't stream some nights... It can be as simple as a why bother moment for me. I could think, why am I going to stream tonight? No one, no one's going to come by and watch. I'm not going to have fun. It's, it's. I'm not in a good mood. No one's going to have a good time. And it just, and when that happens, I just don't stream. And that happens with a lot of stuff too. There are a lot of things that I do where I have to stop and like, kind of think like, is this, is this something I want to spend my time on? Is this worth doing? But. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you to decide what's worth putting your energy and time into. And I'm going to say that this stream right here that I'm doing right now would not have happened if I didn't feel that way even for a moment. Because if I had, if I had done what I originally planned for today, I would have been here like 10 o'clock, 1030, like last night. I would have been playing strong bad for six out for five hours. And I probably would have been exhausted from it, because um, that's a lot of that's a lot of point and click to play in one sitting. But no, instead I waited. I was almost tempted to say I'm not going to stream, but then at 12:15, I looked on the eShop and I was like, oh, the demo's already here for this, so here we are. That's why we're doing the stream now, solely because I hesitated. So life has a way of working out sometimes. Noctis, Gladolius, Ignis, and Prompto. Gladolius. That's his, that's his real name? I, was glad, I, th I thought it was just Gladius. Or, I don't know. Fated Prince is skilled in physical, magical, and support abilities. Shield of the King. Who had an advisor? Dr. Freak can weaken the enemy and strengthen the party. Gladius McBadius. This remix is good. I like this FF6 remix they got here. Alright. Final part of the demo. Which is interesting. It pretty much because we're 20 minutes out from 3 hours, so... 30 songs in 3 hours and uh, is kind of a through line. Stand your ground. We got... Oh, we only get three songs from this one because we got so many from 14. Okay. So we're done. We're pretty much done. And then we'll unlock the last key and when the full version comes out we can either unlock another game or we can finish the ones we started.
Just renewed your registration for your car. It should come in about in the mail about a week. I was worried because it wasn't finding your car online to renew it. I was putting my old license plates in. Oh, looked at renewing all this and so the plate number was different. You got in a wreck last year, so you had to replace the plates. Oof. Again, cars are something I know very little about, because I don't have a driver's license and I'm almost 36 years old. Oh, it actually shows you what they leveled up in. That's cool. Look how much Rhythmia I'm missing out on. Clearing the quest gives you, uh, extra, too. I wonder if you can get that multiple times. Mm. No, 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 no. Do not stop recording. So scared for a moment before you figured out what you were doing wrong. Well, it's like the other day when I got my eye exam results. I was like trying to read it and I like realized I was looking at it the wrong way. I do okay. DMV stuff is really annoying no matter where you are. Yeah. It is definitely uh, one of the lower points of the human uh, experience, that's for sure. Avoids damage. Okay. Moderately reduces damage from physical type enemies active until the end of MS. Does low damage proportion the user's strength and slightly lowers enemy magic defense. So question, has has my switch has like you have you seen any of the switch notifications come up on the top left, like of someone playing a game? Oh no, no it has. Because I just realized like I haven't seen anyone come online all evening, and I just remembered that I saw uh, my friend Cammy playing uh, Splatoon three earlier. Also, I used another uh, level up that I didn't want to. No, it's definitely working, because I remember seeing uh, seeing someone's name come up earlier. Alright, last song. 
before I do that. Yeah, no, it shows me. On, it, I'm online. Any moogles. Stop. I think, my, I think my controller's bugging out. <laughs> Apocalypse Noctis, uncovered trailer. I like how it's specifically a trailer song and not in game music. To be fair, though, even Smash does that. Smash has the, uh, Breath of the Wild trailer theme as one of the songs, and, and the song in the game is literally just called Nintendo Switch Presentation 2017 theme. track of damn it could end on a, on a on a perfect I'm alive Just about three hours, so it's a pretty good stop point to stop. It's also 3.30. Uh, you know what? I will do one more thing. I'll go and do the one stage I did on simple, on normal. Alright, and that's as far as we go in the demo. And that's pretty good. That's 30 songs. One more, he says. One more. Yeah, one more. I'll do one more. 30 songs. That's a pretty good demo. Um, and... Again, full game. Oh, almost 300. I believe it's like 365. The deluxe edition adds 27 more. And then the DLC is going to bring it up to 502. That's a lot of music. That is a lot of music to get through. And we just did 30 of them. Full version comes out. Uh, not sure when. That's nice. I wish that was full screen, though. I mean, was, was there any reason not to put that in full screen? Pinups of lightning. The walls. Also interesting seeing 14 and 15 content in this game since uh, 13 was the only one. It was the farthest it went.
more feats do we get? Gotta do an all critical chain. What is this? Oh, this is the Profi card. Today's top hit. Probably because I just got a good ranking on it. Oh, I see. It's because I didn't do it on Ultimate. Which one was the one I didn't do? I guess not all songs have a supreme version of them. Rather than it just not being a thing for every, uh, song. Okay, Battle 1 was the one I did. Go for it. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go Vancred. Lena. Galoof. Barrett. Toad? Curious Toad. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing that could get cast on you in this game. I don't want two of the same story here. Alright, let's... Wait, no. Is the physical type. Five's getting a lot of rep here. Why are all the good physical types for <laughs> five? Right, let's put lightning in. There, we got it. We got a well balanced team from all walks of life here. We'll bring a potion just in case. So yeah, we wrap up the night.
Nice! Wow, that went really well. See, the better your team is, the more, more you could fuck up. That went very, very well. Activated 20 or more abilities in one song. Oh, look at that. You can just- you can just roll right into another song if you want to. That's cool. Does it actually- does it automatically load the song? Oh yeah, it does. That's interesting. So the game kinda- the game can kinda like chain you into songs without having to, uh... Without having to go back to the menu. Considering the loading times in this game aren't perfect, that's actually pretty damn good. Alright, and that's, uh, that's Theater Rhythm Final Bar Lines. See, there we go, there's some pop-ups. That's Theater Rhythm Bar Lines, uh, demo. That was really good, and I'm absolutely- oh, it switches between sets, too, I should make multiple sets. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's a little more streamlined than the original, which is saying something, because it wasn't a streamlined- wasn't a super open game to begin with, but... Certainly enjoying it. I'm going to be getting the full game and all the DLC. So you can expect streams of this. The DLC isn't all coming out at once. So what's going to happen is I'm likely going to just play through the main game and then just come back every few months and do the DLC that came out for it until all 502 songs are there. I will hopefully at least play each song once. And we'll see. We'll see where things go from there. Um... Let me see here. As always, I want to thank you all for coming. I very much enjoy the company. It means a lot to me. Um, you all take care. I will likely be back. I'm thinking Thursday now rather than tomorrow. And I'll probably finally get the strong bad stream in. And then uh, Friday we'll do more. Um, we'll do more Pizza Tower and more Final Fantasy 14. And then we'll see where uh, things take us from there. But yeah, thank you so much for coming. If you watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team. Slash Wild Abandoned. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Also, uh, G Official GVG is streaming this. I believe Ash Paulson himself is streaming this. I think I'll throw him uh, a raid. Not that there's many people here, but please say, please stick around and say hi to him. Because it would mean a lot to me if you did. Uh, he's a very cool guy. You should absolutely be checking out Good Vibes Good Vibes Gaming on, you on, the, uh, on the YouTubes. You get to hear my name in every, in every podcast because I'm an, an MDP over there. I'm an EP on their on their Patreon. But yeah, stick around. Say hi to Ash. You all have a great evening, and I will see you Thursday. Night.